A black woman speaks truth and society loses its mind. Dear White People is a blunt, inventive satire about life at a predominantly white university as experienced by students of color. Logic, reason, discourse, it's out the window now. A combination of topical storylines and humor delivered by a cast who genuinely connect. It feels like summer, summer camp. camp. for sure. It's for nuts. Sure, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's so cliche to say it, but we all really get along and we love being around each other. Yeah. Influenced by the work of Spike Lee, the show pushes back against labels and relies on each character to represent a unique perspective. Antiphospholipid syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> we make a really good team. That back and forth was so good, I felt like Shonda Rhimes wrote us. I was thinking that the whole time, but I didn't think I could say it. Like when I think back to college, one of the things was how much we talked about everything. And I felt much far more intellectual than I am now because you're reading all the time and you're exploring things. Working on a show like this, does it have that feel to it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's a good point. I think so. There's no way to come on the set and not feel like you're at college to begin with. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think even being characters, being actors on this show, we're constantly learning things. We come out of just a table read, and we're like, we should go probably look that up. <laughs> yes. Audiences will also find themselves learning and laughing and questioning where they stand on fictional episodes that are rooted in reality. Everything comes back around in full circle, so things that we've already experienced in terms of whatever, you know, prejudiceness or, or uh, <laughs> labels, you know, they're never going to stop. So, yeah, we just talk about it in honesty, you know, and comedy. We get paid to have fun, but still, like, make an impact. You get paid. I don't know. He does it for free. He does it for free.